Well, world leaders will be watching tonight's speech by President Obama with particular interest. They'll want to know whether he will be able to bring Middle Eastern countries into the coalition against ISIS. VOA's Al Pearson has more from London. The United States has launched more than 100 airstrikes against the militants in Iraq, supporting local forces and protecting key installations. At the NATO summit last week, nearly a dozen countries agreed to work together on intelligence, logistics and other aspects of the fight. Now President Obama is launching a broader strategy and inviting more countries to join, something he signaled at the end of the summit. And I think it is absolutely critical that we have Arab states and specifically Sunni majority states that are rejecting the kind of extremist nihilism that we're seeing out of ISIL that say that is not what Islam is about and are prepared to join us uh, actively in the fight. Experts say the participation of Middle Eastern countries is crucial to defeat the militant fighters who are known as ISIL, ISIS and by their new name, the Islamic State. They've taken over wide areas of Iraq and Syria and killed or terrorized thousands of local residents. Yet research consultant Kathleen McInnes of London's Chatham House cautions that coalitions are much more easily built than maintained. While everybody agrees that ISIS is odious, they need to be defeated, uh, the regional players, you know, Turkey, uh, Iran, Saudi Arabia, uh, Jordan, they all have very different interests and objectives for the region. And Mr. Obama will have to work hard even to convince U.S. allies to do more in the fight against Islamic State, according to James Boys of London's King's College, who spoke via Skype. The world is very much waiting, I think, for this White House to take the lead. One of the challenges, I think, is it's very, very difficult for European powers, I think, to take seriously a president and an administration who only a week or so ago was basically saying there is no strategy with regards to what's going on. Still, Britain has already announced it will sell weapons to the Iraqi military, and experts say the formation of a new Iraqi government could make it possible to get more Iraqis to join the fight against the militants. President Obama's goal is not necessarily to build as large a coalition as the U.S. had in Afghanistan. Nearly 60 countries which paid tribute to their veterans and fallen troops at a NATO summit ceremony. But the experts say it must be broad and capable enough to defeat an enemy similar to Afghanistan's Taliban, a militant group that controls a wide area. And that's why Kathleen McInnes says the president's speech on Wednesday is so important. It's going to be an incredibly important speech because he needs to make the case that not only is, is the time now to, for, you know, for the international community act, to act, but also that he is serious, that, it's, that, um, that the Obama administration, the United States of America, is willing to do what it takes to eliminate the ISIS threat. In recent decades, the United States has led coalitions in Iraq and Afghanistan. Soon the world will hear President Obama's ideas for a new coalition to fight a new threat in that same part of the world. Al Pesson, VOA News, London.